Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Lures Fishing. I am JT Bear. You found yourself on the JT's Barefoot Outdoor Adventure Channel. Today, we're at Beaufort Lake, where apparently they have northern pike available for fishing. This is a beautiful little lake, I gotta say. Just pulling up to it, there's not a lot of space to uh, park. The Jeep is very creatively positioned beside us here. And if somebody wanted to launch a boat, I'd probably have to move. Um, that said, fairly secluded, even though I'm right on the side of the highway. I think this is the 250 that runs through the little town of Sandy Lake. Now, Sandy Lake is, of course, a nice big fishing lake, too. I'll have to hit there one of these days. But yeah, today I'm on the hunt for pike at Beaufort Lake, and it should be a pretty good day. Hopefully, you know, we'll bring in some nice fish. That's what all, fishing's all about. I got a few hours to spend out here this morning. Let's really quickly deal with... Oh! Caught myself a Jeep. Got caught on the gas cap. All right, let's really quickly deal with rod on record today. I'm still swinging this uh, Quantum Iron Fire combo that I got on sale at the Crappy Tire. That said... <clears throat> I am starting to want to have a rather lengthy conversation about this reel. I need to find out how easy it is to rebuild these things because I'm having some unusual bird nesting type issues. Anyway, it has caught me a lot of fish. I caught the walleye on this. I've uh, caught the perch on this. I caught the pike on this. So, so far it's got all three of my species. I am starting off today with that little um, rattling lure. That I've got in my little cheapo set. This has caught me pike and walleye, so hopefully it'll catch me something in the lake today. If not, I of course have the whole tackle box with all the spinners and the jigs and the weights and the fun stuff. And of course, I have some minnows and some pork liver just in case. Because you never know, that's worked for a lot of the fish so far. Who knew? Pork liver. Anyway, Let's get out there, get casting. I've only got a couple of hours, so yeah, why am I talking to you? I should be fishing. We'll just kind of do the obligatory pan around. You can see all these beautiful autumn colors. If there's one thing I can say for autumn, you know, fall in Manitoba, especially having grown up in BC, even though I, I am technically a Winnipeg boy, is uh, autumn hits this place like a light switch, man. Hard and fast. It is considerably colder today um, than last time I was out, but around here we layer up for that sort of stuff because we know the weather's not to be trusted. And that's atypically Manitoba too, I tell you what, in the time it took me to set up the camera for this new angle to actually be out here fishing, it's warmed up just enough that I don't need that extra layer. Got up to 22 degrees yesterday, and it was nine degrees when I started fishing. Boy, was I overdressed by the time I got home. Get that inaugural first cast here. I do all kinds of different things retrieving this particular bait. And, uh, you know, it, it, I've kind of had success with a few different things, like a, a medium retrieve, which is kind of what I consider this to be. I can feel the action of the lure all the way back to me. And uh, I have gotten the attention of a few fish with that. Oh look, I got me some lakeweed already. Off of there. That's one thing I like about those spinners as compared to this thing. So the spinners just kind of move through the lakeweed. Don't bring me back anywhere near as much of it. Where is this? Because it kind of hits the bottom. Brings me a fair bit. I do like the distance I can get with this particular lure though, because it's got a bit more weight to it. Unfortunately, I uh, destroyed the packaging, so I really have no idea what these are supposed to weigh. I guess I could weigh them when I get home, but I don't think I have a, a digital scale small enough. We got the kitchen scale. But that weighs things in, in ounces and pounds. I don't know how that's going to do for weighing a bottom bouncer. can always give it a try, though. Now, it looks open on my left and in front of me here. It uh, is definitely reedy on my right. But if I can do sort of a 
backhanded tennis cast. I should be able to stay in front of those main reeds. Only have to deal with the lake weed beneath it. As I do my, this is such a sketchy skinny pier. As I do my initial casts. And then I gotta like reach forward to bring it back in front of those reeds. But I do see like a few logs sunken in here. Again, it comes back to I really should get a hat camera or a chest camera. So you can see a lot of these things that I'm seeing. I'm going to do a bit of a pause on my retrieve here. One crank around, let it sit for a second, let it sit for a second. See if I can get anybody's attention. It's always fun when you can get something in that first clip. But this is my first time to the lake today. This is my, well, this is my first time to this lake ever. Kind of sounded like it's my first time here today. No, this is my first time ever to this lake when I have come here today. <clears throat> but a little bit of Google research suggested that there might be some fish in here to be found. Although I thought it said wallies and not pike. But I'm perfectly content with either species, to be honest. This time I'm just kind of doing two cranks and a pause. Heck, that said, fishing up a fourth species. Be fun for this season. Considering how many years I've gone without catching a single fish. Catching so many fish of an assorted collection of species. Sounds great. Oh, that, that was that a tug or was that a rock? What do we got? If that was a tug, that was very limited interest. A little bit of lake weed on there. That might have just been getting caught up. And so it goes, my fishing friends, and so it goes. This is a particularly slimy lake weed. All right, kind of feels like it's something you give a child in Halloween to let them have fun with. Tell them it's, well, it's not what it is, you know what I'm saying? A little bit closer to the camera, I've got some reeds on the shore there too, so I might try fan casting a little bit that way before I change angles and clips and all of that fun stuff. I don't think I've got enough time today to really be worth pulling out the hip waders. But it would be nice to get, whoa, that's a lost lure. You know what's really lucky about this particular almost lost lure is it actually ended up on shore because my casting still needs that much improvement. Um, and I can actually walk right to it in the reeds. So that's good. I suspect I should consider spending some quality time this winter with my rod and practicing short casts in the yard. Not like I'm going to catch any fish in the snow, but it's more about the uh, targeting, really. All right. through that same area a couple more times where I thought I got the nibble but I may have just gotten lake weed. No followers yet this morning but really we are truly just getting started and anybody who expects to catch a fish in the first 10 seconds on the lake is usually going to be disappointed in my experience. Looking around, I can definitely see why a person would want to maybe bring a canoe here. Not necessarily worth the motorized 
situation up here but with a canoe there are some nice little beaches just kind of off that way and I see way off that way it kind of looks like a little secluded bay so fishing from the canoe there might be might be the way to go used to have a little kayak never really did much fishing from that was watching I believe it's Saskatchewan fisherman he's doing some fishing in a kayak there that kind of makes me think maybe I missed out on some should have taken that more seriously all right well I'll get back to you when hopefully I've got something attached to that all right so I have switched up to one of these cheap little Amazon spinners in the bright neon green uh, I'm not sure about my color choice but it was on top so anyway switch into this the uh, rattler I felt like I got a few hits on it but unfortunately I was just pulling up vegetation with every cast so this moves through it a little bit better I'm hoping for better results all right so I've been at it for another hour or so since you last saw me and I had that spinner going no luck at all way less liquid um, but yeah no other real luck to speak of so I'm throwing some pork liver onto my hook here still got it on a wire lead because apparently it's pike here and uh, yeah just kind of fan cast this out into the water for a little while see if I can get anything there I am running out of time this morning but oh I hate fishing with time constraints anyway I have seen plenty of bait fish so I know they're out there so I'm hoping you can see these shy little bait fish they're in the water right here it's part of what gives me my faith that I will eventually catch something today but that said I am running out of time all right I'm gonna stand here for a second so they forget I'm here and then try this shot again I do believe we've got somebody doing target practice off in the distance Now I can see that beautiful little school of bait fish, but with the glare on the camera, I have no idea if you can. Kind of surfacing a little bit further out from the dock now. A school of much, much smaller ones here. This dock is so wiggly. So I think we might have a couple of species of bait fish. Definitely a few sizes. So I am very hopeful about finding life in this lake. Oh, I was super zoomed in again. All right, well, maybe this will work better. So my underwater camera that I do have is an old Vivitar, and I do mean old, it's like six, five or six years old. No, we've been out here for five, um, no, we've been out here for six years. So it's probably eight years old, but it is fully waterproof and it was once upon a time considered to be HD. So I guess I will charge that puppy up figure out some sort of rig for beautiful situations like this because I know we're not seeing these at their glory anyway I got about 45 minutes left so I'm gonna throw some meat on a bobber drop her off the end of this dock and see what I can find I'll give you a tour up the way here too like I've got this big sort of sunken log here all these reeds off to the right that I obviously don't want to cast any of my artificials into but just kind of chucking a bobber and a hook with a little bit of meat you know that's a less risk situation would definitely love to come down here when I've got the day to spend I don't know if you can see it on the camera but off yonder there's a nice little rocky beach just kind of by the road 
a nice long chunk of rocky section there. Had some good uh, good success on rocky chunks of lake. But yeah, for my last 45 here today, I guess I'm gonna drop some bait kind of in the end of the reeds and at the end of this skinny little dock. Like skinny. Absolutely beautiful lake. I'm certain it's teeming with life. I just uh, not catching much of anything today. Oh my goodness, I wish you could see this as well as I can. I must see several hundred of those little bait fish just kind of swimming all along the edge of the dock here. So in theory, if they're congregated here, predators should be not that far, right? Right? I think that's how that works. Well, my friends, it looks like this has been a thoroughly enjoyable, beautiful, wonderful, scenic, and finally starting to be warm fall day at Beaufort Lake. It has been thoroughly, completely, utterly unproductive. Lots of bait fish, lots of waterfowl swimming around, and like I said, the scenery has been fantastic, but I've not caught so much as a perch today. Didn't even accidentally nick one of these bait fish. So, on the upside, I was doing some... It's a very busy road. It's, it's the middle of nowhere, but it's a very busy road. I was doing some tests, uh, short bobber kind of stuff, so I could really see well what was going on. These bait fish, at least, do seem to be interested in the liver. They do seem to be interested in small pieces of minnow, but I'm just not getting any bites throwing things out there. I can only assume that the northern pike they speak of on that sign are a lot further out. But, yeah, if I had the whole day to play here, and uh, I should have known better than to go out fishing when I didn't, I would definitely explore some of these rockier locations, try and get myself away from the weeds, maybe grab the hip waders and... Uh, wander in. I think this could be a beautiful and productive place to fish. It just wasn't that productive today. Alright everybody, I uh, gotta wrap this up sooner or later so I guess this is it. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, throw down any comments, suggestions, advice, tips, tricks you've got down below. Um, yeah. I got another monster grain truck coming, so I'd better wrap this up before a rock hits the camera. I will see you guys later. Happy fishing. Play safe.